So this is an elbow. This is the tip of the elbow called the olecranon. And if you look at the MRI right here, the arm bone, the humerus is here, and the tip of the elbow is right here. Bone should be blackish on the MRI, and you can see it's all white here. This was from one year ago. All this white stuff is stress or microfracturing. It's a stress fracture from overuse, from throwing too hard, from not resting, um, from not rehabbing enough. And so then that was when he injured his ulnar collateral ligament, which healed. And then we had a couple MRIs after that. They're in the, actually in a little bit different orientation, but even the most recent one, the ulnar collateral ligament healed beautifully, completely healed, but this bone never healed. So he has no pain on the inner, the medial side, but he still has a lot of pain in the back. There's even a little abnormality right where the triceps tendon attaches right here. So the idea to get this to heal is to take good bone marrow cells, which has stem cells and other cells that help the stem cells uh, drill into this area after numbing it up. So drill right into that white area with a hollow drill and then fill that area up with bone marrow aspirate cells. And so what we did was we harvested the cells and you've seen other posts from that. And then I took a, a drill and we numbed it up. We did this right in the office and we drilled into the bone. We also drilled right through that triceps tendon where the abnormality was. And then we took the drill, the center of the drill. And when I take this drill off of here, you're able to pop this off. And now you've got a hollow uh, needle that goes into the bone and we're able to take the bone marrow cells, the PRP and inject it into there. So we injected it all into that area. Now we will follow up with a repeat MRI to see if this healed, but um, people might say, well, that would have healed anyway. Well, it hasn't healed in over a year and we have this happen in other areas of the body. This personally is the first time we've done it for an olecranon, but the same principles apply. If it's not healing and there's not enough good cells to heal, we're gonna to try to get that thing to heal. And so we took good cells, concentrated them, put them where there's not enough good healing cells, and hopefully that's gonna heal once and for all, and we'll keep you up to date.